8.15. Um, they open at 8.30, trying to get there as soon as they open so that I have to spend as little of the day not eating or drinking as possible. Um, don't feel hungry yet, of course. I did get some Taco Bell like right at midnight last night so that I could have something to eat like late and that I wouldn't be as hungry today. Um, I don't really do very well with being hungry. Bobby's gonna be born. I'm just sitting oh, that's so weird to think of her actually being here. Like, that in the not so far future, we're gonna be at that hospital with like a new person that's never been in the world before. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. Which is good because for one I was very thirsty but also because like the nurse here just said they have a hard time finding your veins if you're dehydrated and I really don't want to get stuck like a million and one times so I'm now on my second cup of water I'm already have to get stuck four times today so we don't want to make it any more than that Just got my blood drawn and my hand because she couldn't find a vein because even though I just drank some water it wasn't quite enough I guess but it wasn't bad compared to the last time I had to get blood drawn out of my hand this was way 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 better and then I did get a choice of drink so that definitely like made my day a lot better um, they had fruit punch which obviously I not pick lemon lime and orange I chose the lemon lime she said that most people don't think most people pick the orange but I didn't think it was that bad I mean it wasn't like something I would order at a restaurant but it was drinkable I drank it pretty easily in less than five minutes I mean I don't I felt like I felt more nauseous after the last one this one is just like my, my stomach feels a little off but I'm fine so yeah, now we wait. We sit here for three hours getting my blood drawn once an hour, so it's going to be a fun time. Um, but they do have Wi-Fi, so that's a plus. And gosh, I want to show this waiting room because it's teeny tiny, but there's people in it, so I don't want to film them. But I'm like super surprised that for somewhere where people have to sit for three hours, they would have such a tiny waiting room. I would think that like they would at least have some comfortable chairs or more space so it's been about 10 minutes and my stomach is starting to hurt a little bit now but i figure it'll go away i know once it digests all this sugar feel a little like weird in my head too not like I don't know, it's like, like sugar rush in my head. They just consume like, what was it, 50 grams, I think? It was pure sugar on an empty stomach. So, oh. Got one hour down, two to go. She was able to get the blood out of my arm this time. So, that's better than my hand, I guess. She, I mean, she did a really good job on my hand, so. It wasn't so bad, but I have been feeling pretty nauseous and really want some water. But it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, just got my third stick. Uh, 
Sasuke wasn't that bad. She's really, really good at doing needle sticks, so none of them have been that bad. I don't feel nauseous anymore. Overall, this process really hasn't been all that bad, so. We are finally done. Got my fourth stick of the day. That one kind of hurt a little worse than the other ones, just because I think she had stuck this arm already once and had to get it again, but it was still, I mean, it wasn't bad. The whole experience was actually not near as bad as I thought it was going to be, or like, I felt nauseous the first hour, and it kind of came and went, and there was a couple spots I felt, like, really nauseous, but, I mean, it would, like, come, like, feel really nauseous and then go back down, and after, yeah, you just drop it. After the first hour, I didn't feel nauseous at all. I mean, the thing that did really suck about that area is there was just like this teeny tiny waiting room. At one point, there were so many people in there. People didn't all even have seats. And it, I don't know. It just seems like a big oversight for a place where you know people are going to have to sit for three hours. Not to give them like a good place to sit. But I thought I would feel a lot more hungry than I feel right now. But I think that drink just kind of like made my stomach to where I didn't feel hungry. I do feel pretty thirsty. I didn't bring any water in the car. So I have to wait till we get, we're going to, uh, to go eat after this. So I have to wait till we get to the restaurant to get me some water. I feel like it went by kind of fast. I brought a lot of stuff to do. Uh, we watched a movie. I read a magazine. Worked on my computer a little bit. And I don't know. It is, it overall wasn't that bad. So after we left the hospital, we went to a place called Frontier Diner and we got so much food. I was so hungry. I kind of didn't even realize I was hungry until we got there and I could smell the food. Oh, but it was so good. I ate all of it. It was delicious. I'm still really full. Got home. My plan was to get home, get ready and head straight to work, but that didn't happen. For one, my back had started hurting. Oh, Shoot, that reminds me, I didn't bring my pregnancy belt with me. Hopefully it doesn't start hurting again. But my back had started hurting really bad from sitting in that office for so long and then sitting at the diner. So I really wanted to lay down for a little bit just to kind of give it a break before I go to work and sit some more. And my plan was to lay down for 10 minutes. And I ended up laying down for like 30 minutes. Um, so it's like, it's going to be about 2.30 by the time I get to work, which kind of sucks, but... As far as how I feel, maybe the results would be from the test. I didn't feel any symptoms of like hyperglycemia, so I'm hoping that that means that I did good. And I mean, not that I can really control it, but you know, that I passed the test. Uh, I just, I, I'm not really sure how much you can tell. So we'll just have to see. I'm supposed to find out tomorrow, so. I just got a call from my doctor's office and my test results came back for the glucose test and they were normal so oh my gosh that was such a super relief to hear I did not want to have to deal with gestational diabetes I mean it's like everything that there is about being pregnant plus like a whole new like disease you have to learn everything about like learn about the diet which of course I know that part but I mean don't necessarily follow a diabetic diet um but learn about all the medications what I have to take insulin what I have to do finger pricks oh my gosh I can't imagine even though it's only for three months I can't imagine having to do all of that on top of dealing with being pregnant I definitely feel for anyone out there that has had gestational diabetes. That's I feel for you. That's that's a lot to manage. I feel I just realized I don't think that I've done like any kind of like bump update in a while, so I think I'll go ahead and show real quick before I end the video. But it's probably an odd angle, but I'm at work and I don't really want to move the camera to show anything around where I'm sitting because HIPAA and stuff. But um, you can see I'm actually looking pregnant, like every day looking pregnant. Everyone 
it's telling me that like, oh, like I've popped or they can really sell now. And so that's kind of fun. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below. Um, if you like how your glucose test has gone, if you're pregnant or, you know, anyone that's had gestational diabetes, well, let me know a little bit about your experience. I'm kind of interested to hear from uh, the perspective of someone that's actually had to deal with that. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.